Welcome to F5J World Championship in Bulgaria 2023. We are in the same place as European Championships 2018 that you can check back on my channel. And the weather is pretty much the same. I've heard people complaining that it was even worse in the beginning of the week. The wind didn't die off during the night, it was still very windy, but now it's end of the week, it's Friday, and we actually had a few groups in the morning that had uh, just a gentle thermal breeze now and then, but then around 10 a.m. winds already picked up. I am at the south end of the corridor, looking to the hills of the north, and the wind is from the east, mainly coming from those hills over there. And behind us, to the south, there's a nice mountain. Still, the whole field is large enough, so north to south is more than five kilometers. It's no issue to fly here. To the west, there's a town of Dubnica. And there are a couple of small, smaller villages to the northeast and northwest. So this is a large pasture area with not much to obstruct the wind. There's a couple of trees standing there towards the east. Round one. Group one. The scroll. That's basically the only only obstruction in the field that could generate some thermals. We have storks flying around every now and then. I'm not sure if you can see it, I certainly can't. Ah, there it is. Then again, focus is acting up again. So you have, a, have an idea about the wind speed up there. time for the junior fly-off is beginning. It's around half past one. So more or less midday. One would expect strong thermals in these kind of conditions. There's barely a cloud in the sky. However, what we've seen due to the wind speed there hasn't been much turmoiling going on. Basically, as a pilot, you have three choices. You park yourself towards the north side of the valley, you park yourself just down the valley to the east, or you park yourself towards the south part of the valley, to the mountain. It's anyone's guess which part is the best. So the whole flying is a lottery. We've seen lots of very good pilots make major mistakes, fly, uh, land outside of the flying field. There's lots of zeros in the score. And after 14 rounds, among the seniors, the highest scoring one is 11,400 and something points out of 14 rounds. Imagine that. When was the last time 
you saw such a low score. Just to remind the whole pilot, you must fly right ahead at least three seconds and then turn. You must fly at least three seconds right ahead and then you can turn. Direction for start is landing on the west point. Good luck for everyone. Yes, so luck is certainly needed here. Two minutes to start. So I picked my standing point from the perspective of photography. So I have sun in my back. Now, if pilots decide to fly over the north side of the valley, I won't have much to show. But maybe if they decide to fly over south side of the valley, I'll be closer to them. So let's see what happens. So the way or competition is organized, we'll have two rounds of fly-offs for both juniors and seniors today, Friday afternoon, and tomorrow morning there will be one more round of flying for both juniors and one seniors. So I expect all of the scoring differences will be made today, and tomorrow will be just a relaxation flying if wind is not picking up yet in the morning. Another thing I expect to see is some late starts. So in the past two days it was pretty normal to do a five to six minute flight from 200 meters. 30 seconds to start. And scoring wise it doesn't make much sense to go much above 200 meters. So if you do a seven minute flight you're start. already pretty good. So I don't expect to see much difference right now. So in, in 15 seconds, minutes, nine, eight, seven, one has time six, to think of five, an interesting strategy. Four, three, two, one. Two, four, five, six, seven. At least one is waiting. Okay, lines. Didn't wait much, just maybe 20 seconds. So, what's the situation? Everyone high and far. I think there's a stork up there, but just flying into the wind. I think one or two went to the north side. At least one went to the east, down the valley, or up the valley. And then there are a couple of planes on to the south. Let's see if I can get some. So I see four now between these clouds and the mountain ridge. And then just hanging there. So one is trying to do some circles. So the thing about circling in this kind of wind is that, yes, you can definitely find some rising air and gain some height. But for what price of distance do we have to pay? Our game is that we still have to come back and land to the point, so... It's not beneficial sometimes to fly downwind for a little gain of altitude, because you maybe gain 100 meters, but then you gain a kilometer of more in distance. And that's not enough to come back. So 
So these two guys decided to follow the wind, but I don't think they gained much height at all. If anything, they lost height. So it's now already a challenge just to come back. manual focus so that the focus doesn't dance around. So the closer one now maybe still has a chance to come back. But the other one is behind the clock already. That's too low. Okay, he has some speed, so at least maybe he'll get these few minutes. Ah, there's also the third one also down. If the, the green one will get landing points. Oh, that's, that's good. Okay. What's the other one doing? We land. Maybe barely inside or just outside. So now there are three guys on the over the camp area. Also very low already. Ten minutes remaining. Yes, 10 minutes to go. Good luck with that. Maybe there's something, but as I said, it's not enough to really allow yourself to be blown downwind. Looks good, definitely, but you have to come back. That counts a lot now. Okay, I'm pointing the camera in the general direction of the planes. Hope I get some action on camera. Or I don't even know this video terminology within, within the frame, I think. Okay, guys, start returning. It's worth more than 15 minutes now. Okay, maybe another wave. Is it worth a turn? I don't know. I would fly forward, especially the wind has picked up now a lot, and I guess it must be even worse, some hundred meters up. Okay, 
now. Green plane is still in the good air, and the white blue one is in a strong thing. Now we have to fly through that and hope that the next batch of good air comes towards you. Let's see. landing and that's a good landing. At least that. There's one guy trying to gain some more seconds. But will he reach the point? Yes he'll make it. And the green plane is also down. That's it, I think, with five and a half minutes to go, I think that's all planes down. So that was, what, almost 10 minutes of flying. That's actually much better than what we saw all day yesterday and this morning. So... These top juniors, top nine juniors, are really good pilots. Five minutes remaining. Yes, indeed, but I think I'll stop it here and wait for the next round. And we continue directly into the second fly-off round for the juniors. Two minutes to start. Weather conditions much the same but the microphone should now be quieter, right? Organizer changed the starting landing points for all the nine pilots, which makes sense in this kind of weather and environment. So, Landing point here affects your decision whether you fly to the north or to the south of the valley or maybe continue straight ahead because if you are standing here where I am near the 14th point flying all the way across the field costs you maybe time. 7 seconds of motor runtime. five to seven seconds for sure. So it might make more sense to go to the south in this case. As there are only nine juniors in the flyoffs, the corridor is occupied maybe just a bit over half. Start. So I expect much the same situation now. Maybe someone will delay their start even further. Ten seconds. Let's see. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And someone's going straight up. 
two, four, six planes started, three pilots are waiting. Someone went straight up overhead. Not sure how, what value that brings. Number seven in the air. Also going more or less up, midfield. They are now spread all over the sky. Don't see a single group, but I see plenty of individual planes. So that's good for the two guys that are still waiting. Now they can study what the others are doing and in which direction to launch. Six planes. I guess the only one worth videoing is in that direction. There's some, just a few clouds for the background, so you can probably see him. Let's hope so. Two minutes have passed. The one that was lower here is definitely losing altitude fast, but the one that's up there is kind of staying up there, so. Maybe it makes sense to go to 250 meters in this kind of wind. Okay, I'm not sure that was a wise decision. Turning downwind when you are this slow. But he's trying that tree. Maybe that tree will unstick some hot air for him. One more turn. I'm not sure. Oh, that's definitely too far now. found something there, it's definitely going up, but at the same time going downwind again, so not sure if he can even come back. There's one closer above that tree. At least he can reach the landing points. Ten minutes remaining. What's happening behind me? There are three 
planes that flew downwind. So the green plane that was very good in the first flight is now struggling there just above the tree line in the camp. maybe 10 20 seconds out of that but not more okay good landing There's one more coming to land that's six minutes into the flight. That's the expected time we have been seeing the past week. So let's see. Anyone close now? I really don't see any other planes. They are all spread apart really far. gust of wind guys there are now maybe even in a good air but not sure how far they can go downwind so looks like the guy that was really far downwind almost came back but it's now in the same bubble but the guy who was hanging here around this tree the only chance for him I think now is landing if he can make it to the point because the wind really picked up now Doesn't look good. And he's down. I'm afraid that's outside of 75 meters. Okay, let's find some other target. French team is looking somewhere behind me. I have no idea. I can't see him. But he's flying somewhere behind me. downwind so someone wisely decided to return so all three are still flying one is close here and the other Five two are really far so 
maybe we will see a 15 minute flight. close to the tree again. A bit easier to focus on. strong maybe he is just inside 75 that's good the guy who was hanging here in the above the landing points is still here All he's doing, just a bit up and a bit down. One, two, and one more. <laughs> just landed behind the timekeeper. Anyone still flying? French guy, still in the air, so another green plane. Two minutes remaining. I think we will see the first 15 minute flight. Stick the landing, that would be so cool. Going down, just making air turns. If you do a full circle, you get blown downwind. That's One minute really remaining. Good thing to do here. Now, maybe one turn. Still enough height to keep a decent speed. Going down. Now, just get into position and forget the seconds. It's more important that you land correctly. Now push down, push down, push down, down. No, don't do that. Twenty seconds remaining. Forget the seconds, go down. Ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven. Very good. Six, very good. Very five, good. Four, three. Congratulations. One. Round three. Group one. I'm pretty sure that was the winning flight. Lucas. 
Anton Amaras, Christos, Mr. Old. 